All right, here we're going to look at one more example involving a little division of decimals. So suppose uh, Patrick drives at an average speed of 46.25 miles per hour. We want to know how long does it take him to travel 185 miles. Well, all we're going to have to do is take 185 and divide it by 46.25, or equivalently, we'll do 185 over 46.25. And now I'm going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to uh, multiply top and bottom of my fraction by 100 to move the decimal, uh, and the denominator will be left with, with uh, 4625. And the numerator will be left with 18500. And now I'm going to do my long division. And again, these are kind of numbers that uh, have the potential to be, um, to make life a little miserable, you know, if you're dividing this number by this number by hand. But okay, well, that's, that's how it goes. So I'm going to check here. You know, uh, I kind of round things off, you know. To me, uh, 46, that's somewhere, um, I kind of look basically at the very first digit, you know. So 4, I'm going to kind of round it up to 5. Um, you know, if I think about this number, um, the first number is being 5. If I look at the first uh, two numbers inside of here, that's somewhere around 18. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking, you know, roughly what's 18 divided by 5? Well, it's somewhere between 3 and 4. So I'm guessing maybe 3 or 4, 46.25 will go into 18,500, um, maybe, you know, 4 or 5 times, 3 or 4 or 5 times. Um, and again, all I'm doing is I'm getting rid of the first three digits underneath, and then I'm getting rid of basically the first three digits of the number out front, and that's kind of what I'm estimating. I'm saying, you know, roughly 18 divided by 4, you know, that's somewhere between 4 and 5. Um, Again, depending on how you estimate, obviously, you'll get slightly different values. But I know that 4625 isn't going to go into this, say, seven times. Okay, so again, I'm just getting rid of three digits, getting rid of three digits, and I'm thinking about that division to give me a guess. Well, I'm going to check 4625. Maybe, maybe let's try four. So let's see, four times five is 20. Uh, we'll carry the two. Four times eight is 10, or excuse me, four times two is eight, plus two is 10 carry the 1. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 is 25. We'll carry the 2. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18. Hey, lo and behold, it goes in there exactly 4 times. So uh, things were set up nicely for us. Again, 4 times 46, 25 will leave us with 18, 5, 0, 0 exactly. If we subtract, we've got no remainder. So it says it'll take uh, good old Patrick, that, that wonderful guy, It'll take him uh, four hours to make that, uh, to, to, to travel that distance.